In this experiment, we'll be looking at how to measure your near and far point. And we'll be doing that in two parts. First of all, we'll have a look at how we would have done it had we been running this class face to face. And then at the end, we'll give you some tips as to how to carry out this activity using equipment commonly found at home. So let's get stuck into it. For this activity, you'll need a meter ruler and something to focus on. A pen will do the trick nicely. It's difficult to measure right up to your cornea, but if you hold the ruler against your cheek, then that's close enough. Now we're going to be testing each eye separately, so only using one eye, keep the object you're bringing towards yourself in focus. Now you'll find as you approach your near point, which is the closest point that you can keep something in focus, you'll have to put more and more effort into it, and eventually you'll reach the point where you can't keep the pen in focus anymore. And then that point there is your near point. And so you make a note of the distance. The near point of normal sighted people is usually around 25 centimeters. Our subject is wearing contact lenses and for corrected vision, sometimes the near point is less than 25 centimeters and that's what we found. So we had a near point for the left eye of 16.5 centimeters. You then repeat the activity for the other eye. And here we got a near point of 17.3 centimeters for the right eye. Lastly, we'll measure both eyes. Now measuring both eyes can be a little bit difficult because you want to have the ruler equidistant between both eyes, but your nose gets in the way and prevents the ruler from being held as close as possible to the eyes. So what I usually recommend is hold the ruler horizontally and then bring the object you're focusing on along the top of the ruler. And doing that here, we found a near point of 13.5 centimeters when using both eyes at once. Now, as described in the methods section, if you're normal sighted, so if you're emotropic, then the furthest distance you can see in sharp focus, which is the far point, will usually be infinitely far away from you. So basically anything further than about six meters away from you is considered infinitely far away and everything beyond that point should be in focus. Then there's a formula for calculating the range of accommodation. Now I'm going to leave it to you to calculate your range of accommodation, either using the numbers that we've had here or use numbers that you've measured yourself. Now what we're going to do is to demonstrate to normal sighted people, so to emotropes, what nearsightedness or myopia or farsightedness, hyperopia, looks like to people with that kind of vision. Recall that nearsightedness or myopia is the inability to see distant objects clearly, but you can see close objects clearly. For people with normal vision, their far point is at infinity, so anything beyond about 6 meters will be in focus. For people with myopia, however, their far point is no longer at infinity, but instead is a lot closer to their eyes, and so anything beyond that far point appears blurry. People with farsightedness, or hyperopia on the other hand, can see things in the distance very clearly, but they can't see objects that are close up. For them the problem is that their near point is further away. So now let's use a set of lenses to change normal vision into either hyperopia or myopia, and demonstrate what those two conditions look like for normal sighted people. First of all we're going to use a minus 5 diopter lens. Now, negative lenses are concave lenses. In other words, they cause rays to diverge, and so they would make a normal sighted person into a hyperope. So using this minus five lens, we'll demonstrate what hyperopia looks like. So what we've done is to focus the camera on the pen, which is at 25 centimeters. So that's focused on what should be the near point. And you'll notice that when doing that, the background is reasonably blurry. When we insert the minus five lens, we've now become farsighted, and you'll notice that the blurry background has become more in focus. But the pen at 25 centimeters that was in focus is now no longer in focus. So what's happened is that that near point has been shifted out further, and objects in the distance are now more in focus. Now what we're going to do is have a look at the plus 5 lens. The plus 5 lens is a convex lens and that causes light rays to converge and therefore come into focus sooner than they otherwise would. Now this has the effect of moving your far point closer so that objects further away become blurry. But at the same time, because those light rays are being converged sooner, it also makes it easier to focus on things that are closer and so your near point tends to get a little bit closer. So let's have a look at that. Now without the lens, you can see that the background's reasonably blurry. We've got the pen in focus at 25 centimeters. 
Then when we add the lens, you'll notice that the background is really out of focus now. So that far point has really been brought a lot closer. You'll also notice that the pen, which was in focus, is now also out of focus. But the numbers that are even closer, like around the 13-14 centimeter mark, are now in focus. So in other words, your focal point has been brought forward, closer to you. And so now we get to step three of the methods, which says that if you're myopic and wearing glasses, to remove your glasses and measure your far point in a similar way to step one. As a myope, your far point should be closer to you, so you should be able to measure it. Whereas for a normal sighted person, uh, their far point is at infinity. And so obviously it's impossible to measure at infinity. So the instructions are telling myopes to take off their glasses and measure their far point. For normal sighted people, you can use a plus diopter lens. So the instructions say to use a plus two diopter, but if you wanted to use a plus five diopter lens, then that will do the same thing and the far point will be a lot closer then. So measure your far point and then go to step four and calculate the amount of myopia from the value obtained in step three. So in other words, from obtaining your far point. Here our subject is using the plus five lens and finding her far point. And she found that it was at 22 centimeters. Now lastly, we said we'd give you some ideas as to how to do these activities if you're following along at home. Now you may already have a meter ruler at home, which is fine, so just use that. But you'll find that you can generally measure the points that you need to measure using a normal ruler, since your near point for a normal sighted person is usually around 25 centimeters, and your far point for normal sighted people is at infinity, so you can't measure that. Then depending on how nearsighted you are as a myope, you may be able to measure your far point using a normal ruler as well. But if you can't, you can also try this. If you need a bit more distance and you don't have a long tape measure or a long ruler, you can put a piece of masking tape along the edge of a table and then sight along the edge of the table while performing the activity. Make a mark where your near or far point is. Then just use a normal ruler to measure the distance between the object and your eye. Now I'm going to leave it to you to do the calculations and to answer the two questions that are a part of this activity.